Okay, next I'd like to show you the clipboard. So this is the clipboard right here, and it's actually like doing a right click or a paste. So if I went out onto the internet or somewhere else and I highlighted something and I decided I wanted to copy it, I would copy it and I would return to my notebook file. And if I click on the um, little paste up here, the clipboard, it will paste whatever I have just copied. You'll notice once I've pasted it, this X here becomes red. If I click away from whatever is pasted, it is gray again. Um, the only time you can delete using the red X is if something is red. So now I could use my red X and I could delete what I just pasted there. The next tool is the screen capture tool. It's very handy. It looks a little different than it has in the past. Um, the icons look slightly different, but they work similar. So I'm going to again go to the internet and you'll notice down at the bottom here, this is my camera tool. It looks slightly different than it did in the past. And it disappears down to your toolbar. So if I would like to take a picture of something on my toolbar, I'll do my logo, SAS Rivers logo. The first option lets you select what you want to take a picture. It grays out your screen and you simply do a left click to uh, and hold it down and you draw a box around whatever you'd like to select. When you release, it takes a picture. Now it gives you these new options. One of them is send to Smart Notebook or you have do something else. You can save your picture as an image on your desktop. You can save it to a certain location or you can send it to the clipboard. And that's the imaginary clipboard where you can paste things from. Uh, then you have the option of saying do this every time. I like to leave that unselected so that um, you can choose each time. So if I say send to notebook, it will then add it to my notebook file. So there's my notebook file and now I have my logo in there. Let's try the next feature. The next one looks like this. If I click on that one, it instantly takes a picture of everything that you see on my screen. So all the toolbars and everything that's on it. Again, I can send it to notebook. And it is an object, so I can resize it to be whatever size I'd like it to be. It also inserts a new page. You'll notice this is on the first page and this is on the second page. My next option is this one right here. You click on that one. It says tap a window to capture it. So if I want this window right here to be captured, then it will take a picture. See the blue around here? If I want to take a picture up here, then I would click on it. So I have now taken a picture of this screen. Okay, um, we can try to do something else this time. Let's save it on our desktop. So if you save it on your desktop, it says, do you want to save it? It gives it a name. It's being saved as capture on my desktop. Next option is this one right here, the last option. It's a free form select, much like the first select. If I click on this one, it allows me to select only what I want. So this is handy if you need to like cut around things. So let's say I just want this. And you'll notice that it turns um, whatever you've cut back to color. So it takes the gray out of things. So there's that my funky shape. And that's the shape right there. I can save it on my desktop or I can do something else. I can save it to a location this time. So it asks me, where would you like to save it? So I could save it in my pictures if I liked, or I could save it in my R drive or my T drive or wherever I'd like. So I'll just save it right there. Okay, so that is the camera tools in a nutshell.